Hey everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Goslix, and today we're going to be talking about the five best weapons in Brawlhalla 2022. Without further ado, let's get right into this. At number five on this list, we have Hammer. I'm going to be talking about these weapons, their pros and cons about them, but not exactly what makes one necessarily better than the other. This is just all my opinion, so uh, take it just from a pro Brawlhalla player, my current opinion. It might change by the end of this year, might not. But these, again, are the five best weapons. Okay, so yeah, we have Hammer first. Hammer is really good at killing people, especially early in health. There's a lot of great damage in terms of damage buildup, has true combo kill confirms, and also has some of, if not the best offstage of any weapon in Brahala, especially because of how good it is vertically. There's not many weapons offstage that are good horizontally and diagonally like Scythe is, but most weapons are vertical, even things like gauntlets, um, even Lance it can be pretty vertical with uh, ground pound and whatnot. Um, obviously, it is more of a horizontal weapon off stage. But yeah, against really vertical weapons, like a majority of them, having a hammer recovery <laughs> that just stuffs any recovery your opponent does, all you have to do is stand below your opponent off stage. They'll use a recovery, you hammer recovery, they're dead. It's really broken. And then also, you can get combos off hammer recovery off stage on some maps. Hit like Scythers and whatnot. It's pretty ridiculous, especially what Java is doing. Tons of respect to him. And Hammer is just a weapon because of how big the hitboxes are and how good it is at killing. No matter how poor it gets in neutral, no matter how little combos there are for damage buildup compared to others, the fact that it can kill ridiculously well is, in my opinion, what makes it so strong. Having it with like a string starter weapon is ridiculous. And uh, yeah, Hammer is number five on this list for that reason. Number four, we have Scythe. Scythe has always, will always be one of the best weapons in Brahalla because it fundamentally has a mechanic that no other weapon has, which is active input. To be able to send your opponent anywhere you want with most of your moves is ridiculous because you can keep extending combos and put yourself in a position that is an advantage state. It's incredibly fun with the strings and also on land with little input lag, you're able to get more damage because you can keep extending strings basically infinitely. It is fundamentally broken, but online it is still a top weapon despite people suffering from lag. And that's why it's number four on this list. Number three, we have Sword. Sword will always be one of, if not the best weapon in Brahalla because of just how consistent it is. Having true combos, damage build up true combos, quick attacks in neutral, great coverage. There's nothing Sword lacks. It does everything really well, but it doesn't do anything in particular insanely. So it's kind of like that average weapon. The thing, sword does absolutely everything you need it to do and nothing more. And because of that, it works well with everything in every situation. There aren't any bad matchups. You've got really nothing to worry about when you're on sword. It's just hit your stuff, it will work. It's so consistent and that's why every player in Brawlhalla always finds a way to end up back to playing sword. I can't think of a single player that's never really played sword. Even players like Luna, Pull Out Hattori, Javon Bodvar, even myself with Roland. Every player has played sword at this point. I and mean, you can't say that with many weapons and there's a good reason for it as I just stated. Number two, Orb. I believe Orb is almost like a better sword, honestly. I think sword is always going to be broken. But I think Orb in its current state is better than Sword because it does the exact same thing Sword does but has more movement in its light attack options. Moves like Down Air and Side Air and Neutral Air and the ability to drift well in them and change up your direction makes them fundamentally better than Sword and the fact that they do everything else Sword does like good offstage, true combos, great coverage the only thing I could say about it is like maybe sword is better with downer just directly below but other than that like orb because of its acceleration and drift and it has everything sword has and more is what makes it number two on this list the weapon is fundamentally broken there's just not many pros picking it up 
I think that also has to do with there's not that many orb legends compared to sword legends. There's a lot more sword than orb. Um, so yeah, it's just a matter of time. Dude, if Lance Orb was a thing, I would pick it up. Like, that that would be great. That, BMG, please. Grahala, please. Thanks. Last but not least, number one on this tier list. Or, it's not really a tier list. It's just the top five. Number one on this list is Gauntlets. In this current patch, Gauntlets, in my opinion, are the best weapon in Brahala. Uh, they kind of take what Sword and Orb do well, which Gauntlets have kill options. They have the, a couple kill confirms. Maybe not as good, but still really good. But they have better off stage and some close to infinite combos that Scythe has. Take the best parts of Scythe and the best parts of Orb, smash them together, and make them amazing off stage and you basically have gauntlets you have great true combos you have great damage build up good dodge reads they flow really well into gauntlet signatures they have great setup in terms of ending locations like gauntlet side light against some some weapons like lance it gets unpunished completely because there's no option on lance grounded to cover a gauntlet side light and it's the same for a lot of weapons. It's harder to cover attacks that land in the air. And a lot of gauntlet attacks either land in the air or gauntlet players like to start in the air with side air and whatnot. And also side air sends downwards like it spikes. You have light attacks that are built for killing. You have some inconsistent but like true combos that can kill. You also have great offstage that can kill. This weapon, this string weapon is the best string weapon for killing and it does these other things amazingly there's nothing that gauntlets is bad at right now and that really is what takes the cake it does everything and more which is why i think it's number one on this list guys if you agree disagree let me know down below in the comments i hope you enjoyed this video i plan on doing more guide like list videos and stuff like that in the future so join the discord or comment down below what you want to see next Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all later. Peace.